Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the weave on the triple barrel. So you're going to have um, two colors on each side and then one color for the middle or like the base of the weave. And I did show you guys in another video how to start this one. Um, this is what it looks like on the starting side. And you're going to have, um, it's going to be looking like this. So I already started working on this one. And I'll just show you how to continue doing this stitch. So I'm taking the strand that's farthest away from me, folding it over diagonally. So you can see that I went to the opposite corner and this one the black and now I'm holding it down and now this one black strand that's um, closest to me is going to meet the other black strand at the other corner and then I'm going to hold it in my hands like this so what I'm going to do next I have the two colors here and if you guys can see um, the order that these colors go in, the first one farthest from me is this green, and then it will be this green, and then it's this red, and then it's this red. So how you're gonna work is actually opposite from a box stitch. You're trying to go diagonally. So every time you're going to be working um, diagonally. So that means that, for example, this one is going to go here. And then the, after this one goes here, this other green one is going to move here. This one is going to move here. And then this red one will be the last to move here. So here I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm going to be taking the uh, green thread that is coming from this second green thread in the middle, the one next to the red. That's this one I have in my hand. So this is the middle green stitch on the right hand side. And I'm gonna be going diagonally. So it's not gonna fold over itself. It's gonna go towards the outside and it's gonna become the outermost green in the next stitch. So just went over the black closest to it and under this one and I pull it through. Okay, so that's the first stitch and then do it three more times. So the next one that's gonna be going is the other green thread. And this is the green thread that's coming out of the left hand side. In the stitch below this, this was the outermost green thread. So it's going to be moving diagonally. And they are moving diagonally, but notice they're not crossing. Okay, so that would be something different. Okay, so that's the first two colors. And they are diagonal. Next, you're going to do the um, this red stitch, which is the actually the outermost red stitch from the stitch below. So that's this one I have in my hand here. It is this one right here, the outermost one. But that's the one that's going next. It's going diagonally. So it's going to go on the inside now next to the green. Remember, you're going to always go over and under. So it's going over the black close to it and under the black that's farthest from it. And now here, this red stitch on the level below, the one that I have in my hand now, this was the red stitch that was on the inside next to the green and now it's outside. So you're going to go over the black and under the black loop here, this black loop. So over and then under. Let me see. There we go. Over, under, and pull through. 
Okay, guys, so that is it. That's the stitch. And you just pull tight. And when I pull, I have uh, the two colors on the left side in my left hand, the two colors on the right side in my right hand, and I pull those first, pull, pull, pull. Then I grab the black with my pointer and thumb, and I pull, now I'm pulling the black. And you just kind of keep doing this until you have it all tightened and set and flat and ready for the next um, stitch. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, let me show you one more time. So I'm gonna go over, over. And now I'm gonna hold the black. All right, now going diagonally. And you can notice that I'm always um, starting when it comes to these colorful stitches. I'm starting on the right-hand side and then I go to the left. So if you do get confused, you can think about it that way. Just um, working from the right-hand side first and then the left. And then the last red piece is going to go under this black loop. And this one twisted, so let me flatten it out. And that's it. There's another stitch. And I'm just tightening, pull, pull, pull. And there it is again. And you'll notice that it is turning and it's gonna look really cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.